Good day, readers, and welcome to this, the inaugural episode of Tom's Rapid Reviews. What's that, you may ask? Well, each week on behalf of Surrey Libraries, I, Tom, am going to take a few minutes to read out a review of a book by one of our lovely Surrey Library staff. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about it and give it a bit of context. This week, you may recognise I'm in the sci-fi and fantasy section of Guildford Library. And that's because we're going to be talking about a personal favourite of mine, the science fiction classic, Dune. Now, Dune was first published over 50 years ago. Uh, it's written by Frank Herbert and became the first in a long-running series written by Frank and later his son, James. Um, it's really one of the all-time great works of science fiction. Um, and it's being adapted by Hollywood. It's been adapted once before, but it's being adapted again uh, as we speak, expected to be released this year, uh, and starring the offensively handsome Timothy Chalamet. As for the novel itself, well, it's a dense, multi-layered, but ultimately very rewarding book. Uh, its theme of environmentalism, and it's a version of the classic role of the hero, or a chosen one, uh, makes the book feel at once very timely and somehow timeless, uh, despite its considerable age. Now make no mistake, Dune is not a breezy or particularly accessible read. It will understandably put some people off with its made-up languages and words and, uh, well, its length and its peculiarities. But if you stick with it and allow its world and its characters and its story to wash over you, what you get is a thrilling, nuanced journey of a boy, Paul, uh, a planet, Arrakis, or the dune of the title, um, and their collision course with a frightening destiny. So, if we were to put it in numerical terms, Tom's Rapid Reviews would give Dune 5 out of 5. That's right. We really like this book. Um, as I say, it's a, a bona fide classic and stands up to the test of time. Uh, but what if you've read Dune? Well, we've got some other ideas for you too. Uh, there are its sequels, uh, as I say, and there are some other suggestions I'd like to give you along the same lines. There's a book called The Stars Are Legion, that's written by Cameron Hurley. There's a book called The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. Or perhaps Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. Uh, that's another classic all the way from 1932. Now all of these books mentioned are available as physical copies or as part of our digital service or in some cases both. So why not try some sci-fi this week? Until next time readers, thank you for joining me. Stay safe out there, and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.